If you're considering pre-ordering the MIG switch to back up your games legally and play them off of your micro SD card, you might want to be careful with that as this could be very dangerous to your Nintendo online account. We're going to talk about that switch to rumors and more on the latest episode of decked up a gaming and tech podcast. Oh, what's up, everybody? It's Mikhail Casanova, host of Decked Up, a gaming and tech podcast. Glad to have you guys back again. And I've been thinking about what did I want to make the latest podcast episode on? Because I'm not trying to be someone who jumps on every trending news cycle and, you know, make a video around that or a podcast around that. But certain things that do catch my eye, I'm like, OK, I personally want to talk about it. And I feel like it's informative to share it with you guys. And in this case, I want to talk about none other than the latest thing, which is the MIG switch. Now, as you guys know, reviewers have gotten it, you know, YouTubers, uh, various outlets have gotten their hands on it. And I will tell you this, uh, if you're someone who's covering it and you're a content creator, you're probably never going to work with Nintendo again because they have very strict anti-piracy um you know, type of things, even if you do something as little as, you know, a my guide or like a uh, emulation guide, they will not work with you. And as someone who hasn't worked with Nintendo in a while, I, I don't really care. I'll probably buy the games anyway, but uh, the mix, switch is something I think it's very, very interesting because I think it has, you know, it, it, it's basically the new R4 card. If you're old enough to remember R4 cards for the Nintendo DS and the DS uh, uh, 3, I think the 3DS? No, 3DS didn't get one. But you could pretty much hack your 3DS and play games off of a SD card. So it was only a matter of time, truthfully, until we got to this point where this was going to be a thing. And uh, I'm not, um, I'm not, too like surprised that this was going to come out but nonetheless it's here uh it's not perfect but it is what it is before we dive further into this and we go on over to the website uh for mix which i want you guys to do me a you know a solid the typical youtube stuff if you enjoy it if you're vibing with it like share comment subscribe you know and um if you listen to the podcast and audio format on spotify which is a sponsor of the show or on any other major outlets, make sure you like and uh, share it around and give us some feedback. So that being said, let's go ahead and hop over to their site for Make Switch. Now I did reach out to them to get my hands on a review unit. I haven't heard anything back from them, but uh, we will, you know, as soon as I know, you guys are gonna know. So looking at this right here, it says Make Switch is a, and this is when you first go to their site. It says Make Switch is a third party backup and development device for Nintendo Switch. It's not endorsed nor licensed by Nintendo of Japan. Before ordering or using Make Switch, you must carefully document yourself about the legality of creating backups of your own game cartridges in your country and jurisdiction. So they already know if you use this, you are very likely going to get your Nintendo Switch Online account blocked, your Nintendo account probably banned or shut down. Um, if you do videos on this, like if you actually have the device, you're probably going to get a cease and desist, if not a straight lawsuit. Um, which is why, you know, when I've made guides on emulation, you know, for like the steam deck people would always ask me where do i get roms from what do i g and i'm over here like mother trucker you've got a smartphone you've got computers if you can get access to the internet to comment on the video and ask a question use google or whatever your search engine is and ask that same question and your answers will be right there it's it's amazing how freaking lazy a lot of people are um, and, and it's inexcusable because we're in an era where technology is everywhere. And if you don't know how to use that, I don't know what to tell you, you know, Google it <laughs> or ask Jeeves. Y'all remember that? Anyway, 
Um, it says backing up your own legally owned games is surprisingly not permitted in every country and can constitute, uh, constitute a serious offense in some. Mix Switch does not approve the use of its device with ROMs of games that you do not own, downloaded from the internet or owned by a friend or any outside source. Besides the fact that it is illegal, it will void our warranty and support. Y'all know what this device, you know what people are going to do with this device. So yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead. We're going to accept and we're going to go ahead and go to the website. So this is a website right here. It says make a change, live free, join the revolution, easy backup, plug and play. So you're going to hit, you know, what was funny is this legality thing that popped up was not there on the website before it is now. So that's very interesting. Um, so you got a couple things here. You got your homepage, you got products. Oh, let's go back to that full screen. There you go. Homepage product, back up your games, download and instructions, FAQ, where to buy and contact us. All right, so let's go through the home page. You know, they're constantly doing uh, uh, firmware updates, uh, the MIG dumper and all that. And this is stuff you can watch other YouTubers who already have it. They've been using it. It does work. And um, uh, clarification on online play. <laughs> all right, so Make Switch is a backup and development device. As such, we only support and guarantee your gaming with your own games backups. This applies to online too. If you want to play online with a full Make Switch warranty, you need to use your own dumped backups with genuine certification UID and card set ID. Um, again, failure to respect this rule might end up in bans from Nintendo online service, which we won't be held responsible for. Long and short, if you buy this, do not use this to play. Don't use it to play games online because it is going to look for those three things, the certificate, the UID, and the card set ID is each individual switch cart has all three of those. So if, you know, in a roundabout way, if you were to use this, then if you're using cards, you know, game cards that you use yourself, you should be fine, right? Because it's going to register it as that. If hypothetically you were to use this, and then give that same cart you dumped to your partner, your friend, whoever, and they're playing online and you're online at the same time, you're probably both going to get banned because that same cart ID is going to be shown for both. You know how Nintendo ninjas, they don't play around. So definitely keep that in mind. All right. for russia would love this is a promo let's go ahead we're gonna play the promo uh let me turn the music off on it there it is quite interesting this thing <laughs> make it <laughs> they know what they're doing that's the thing is they know what they're doing um but there's so much legality around this that they know that they can't straight up say, we know what you're going to use it for because guarantee they're going to get, they probably have been hit with a bunch of season desists, which I will say this, if you're looking to get this, um, you probably need to get it now in case it gets to a point where Nintendo makes it so that you can't get it, period. Now, a lot of people are going to get this. They're going to go on pirated sites, you know, sail the seven seas and get their uh, hands on it. And uh, they're going to use this to, um, you know, play. I mean, look, I I'm going to say this. Am I against this device? No. I think this device is going to be great for game preservation, ultimately. Um, and also if you just never want to have a point where you're like, Hey, I want to play a switch game. You know, I don't want to pull something off my shelf or you got a backed up collection already. 
you know, that's just the thing. Um, <laughs> oh man, this is interesting. Yeah. So, all right. Produced in the Russian Federation, you know, with everything going on and uh, over there, that's going to be interesting. All right, let's look at the product, right? So this is this is it. Plug and play, easy backup, micro SD card not included. So it basically looks exactly like a Switch card, and for all intents and purposes, does everything it needs to. So with the uh, micro SD card and whichever uh, game you're going to be using. It's literally going to be pulling the three things, the um, uh, CUID uh, certificate and the uh, game card ID. It's going to be pulling all that, right? Uh, and reading it off your micro SD card. So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. No, uh, <laughs> it does not require any installation or modification of the console. That's good. But from what I've seen on some videos, it's not as simple as plug and play. Um, you need to format your card. It needs to have certain things on it. You need a certain file format for everything else to run properly. Um, but it says Make Switch is the only backup and development device for all Nintendo Switch consoles, regardless of their version, firmware, type, OLED, regular, or light. That does not require any installation or modification of the console. Simple plug and play. Easy use was always in our mind when developing the Make Switch, and you can see the results in the download section of our Make Switch site. The device consists of two products sold separately, so the Make Switch card, micro SD card is required and not included, which you will always require to play your backups and the Switch number to backup your legally on Switch games, which is optional. I'm going to tell you this. You know, a lot of people, a lot of y'all who are going to get this, and look, I ain't saying do it, but I'm also not saying not to do it. Um, buy pre-owned games from GameStop, use this, back it up, take it back. <laughs> or, or, if Redbox has it, Redbox yourself a bunch of games. Or if you work at, you know, places like GameStop, you know, ain't nobody around, your manager not around, back up your games. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know. I, look, I know what people are going to use this for, which is why I'm not going to bullshit you and try to act like people are not going to do that with it. Uh, back up your games. Uh, please remember that the micro SD cards you insert in a make switch, it has to be X for, XFAT format. Uh, so to back up your games, you either need the make switch dumper or modified switch with the NX dump tool and the proper parameters you can find below. See, I'm not even... I, I know the the modified switch i know people have used it i'm not going to be one and i've never been one to use it just because it's too much work for me personally but um you know getting that thing get that thing thing and just do you know make it do the damn thing the uh downloads and instructions all right going over that and then faq So it supports up to 1.5 terabyte, uh, which I believe SanDisk has that um, 1.5 terabyte micro SD card. But the only the caveat with that card is you have it's an A1 card instead of an A2, uh, V10 instead of V30. So it's 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 got a slow read and write. But for the switch, it's perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about that. Um, can I play online? So you can you can with your own game backups as long as you respect carefully the instructions in our download section. Uh, online mode is only recommended with a fully complete game dump. If a valid certificate card ID set or a card UID is missing, online mode is not recommended as it can lead to a ban. Uh, do you support DLC and game updates? Make switch backups are compatible with DLC and game updates. Uh, you need to be online to have a DLC and game updates downloaded. It's an automatic process, so you will, as above, make sure you properly follow the game backup procedure. Um, so currently, you can't 
Okay, so with this one, is it possible to transfer games I purchased in my uh, Nintendo eShop over to make Switch? I mean, obviously, no. I don't know why anyone would ask that question other than, for, I guess, people who don't know anything about how this all works. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at this because I'm like, yo, this is our folks are going to be wild with this. All right. Where to buy. Okay. Uh, U.S. To this site. All right. The price of this thing. So just the car itself for pre-order is $58.99. Uh, works with all the models. Different ways you can purchase it. If you want to get the whole thing, they got a discounted rate. So uh, typically, the mix switch and the dumper combo, typically 129. But I guess uh, early sale, it makes it 124. If you want the dumper just by itself, which a lot, I think a lot of people are probably going to just get a dumper. But if anything, I'd probably just buy this if you're going to get it. You can get one with multiple cards. I don't know why you'd want multiple cards unless you want to. Um, this is a five pack. Let's click on it and see what this is. Uh, I guess. Five carts. And they got a 20 pack. I don't know why you'd need that. Personally, uh, I would just go with this. I just go with the combo two and one. Um, if I were to get it or if I get a opportunity to review this thing, this is what I'm going for this and all my carts up here. I'm literally going to just be dumping, dumping them right there. And just using it as such. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be <laughs> if I get this, I'm not I'm literally not gonna be using my physical cards anymore. I'm just gonna dump everything. But yeah, this price, this is a fair price. I don't think you can go wrong with the pricing of this. Um and people I know a lot of people are, are going in droves to get this. But yeah, I mean it, it's I'm looking at this and I, I'm not bothered by it. I think this is pretty good if you're looking to get this. Um, and for the use cases, I think this is going to be great for a lot of people who have a large collection and don't want to physically go to each one. The only thing is, uh, I believe from what I've seen, like Taki Udon and others that have gotten it, the way that they're able to switch games, which is probably why you're going to want to have more than one card or not have like a ton of games on here is um i believe you have to eject and re-inject it uh and, and that right there i'm kind of like if you got like a ton of games on it that could be annoying especially if you're trying to cycle through and i you know hopefully they can and the reason why they're doing that is because it reads like an authentic card so like if this was like a multi-card thing like if it showed up as a multi-card and you clicked on it and you wanted to go in and try and like go through kind of like think cricks you guys are familiar with cricks like they uh they make the um the ever drives and whatnot if you're looking for that type of interface with a switch that's not going to be a thing but um you know for for that this is going to be a bit of a hassle if you got a bunch of games so i, I can deal with it i'm just saying a lot of you probably are not going to want to deal with that so do keep that in mind I do think this is going to lead to Crix probably making his own variation of this. Um, possibly. Maybe not. I, I can't really say. Uh, other than that, uh, I do want to talk about the Switch 2 rumors, which are very, very, very prevalent. Um. Switch to room. So the switch to allegedly is going to have backwards compatibility from some of the supposed leaks, which makes sense. They don't want to lose the money they're making on switch. So it's going to have backwards compatibility. Uh, it's supposed to rumor be as powerful as a PS4 pro, which means if it has the capability of doing checkerboard 4k instead of actual native 4k, I'm fine with it. Um, as long as it's got a decent battery life, I would personally prefer an OLED screen if they can do that and, uh, maintain the joy. Con I mean, honestly, I would just make it 
call it Switch 2. Call it Switch Pro. I think the naming convention is going to be the biggest thing that they're going to need to figure out what they want to do with that. Because if it doesn't have, in my opinion, if it doesn't have proper naming, we're going to go back to the same situation we have with the Wii U, where people didn't know if the Wii U was just an extension of the Wii. Because if you remember the marketing for the Wii U, they only ever showed the controller. They never really showed the console itself. And that, you know, especially and looking back on how I love the Wii U, but I look back on it and I'm like, man, I had to literally connect it, you know, connect the console to the TV, connect the, the controller, the charging port, the motion sensor bar, all that. It, it was a pain in the ass. Um, if they just release the Switch successor, maintain the Switch naming, call it the Switch 2. I think if they call it the Pro, mm, that might, I don't know how that would work. Super Nintendo Switch. Um... I don't know. Nintendo Switch Super? What, what would we call it, though? Is that, that's the biggest hurdle. Because you can give me all the same games. Um, you know, like being able to have all the games that we've been playing, have all that. And if we can have the backwards compatibility, uh, incorporate offline play and, and native downloads for switch online services games uh ex greatly expand switch online um offerings so give us more games more platforms let's get some turbo graphics in there let's get some um sega saturn and um dreamcast you know get some you know i'm just saying let's get some um some um Super uh, Sega Master Systems games on there too. There's just so much that they could do with the successor, and, and they're gonna have to do something this year, um, especially with the MIG Switch. Now, going back to the MIG Switch, I feel like this might make them create different protocols that they might sneak in with an update. To where if it recognizes the signature, because of course this car is going to have some type of di digital signature and di or digital footprint. They're probably going to make it to where with this update, because of course they're fully aware of it. And the reason I say they're fully aware, because you would not have gone to the site and there have been a legal notice warning before you even go in it. But if they push this update, I can see them trying to have something that checks on the back end to check your the digital signature signature of the cart um and they might find ways to to ban it or make it non-operable on the switch successor that's just kind of how i see it but all that being said uh switch uh switch successor i think we're going to see something this year i think it's going to be a surprise announcement at the end of a nintendo direct um, if they want to get the ball rolling, I would say kick off February with a direct and then tease the successor. We already know one is already in development, um, but there's been no public notice. So go ahead and get the ball running, get people excited. The um, mix switch at the price, 124 on sale right now, 129. Great deal. Get it while you can. <laughs> Get it before they get hit with a cease and desist, and then they're not going to be selling it. So if you can get your hands on it, and go ahead and get your hands on it and start using it. Um, other than that, I got nothing else. What do you guys think about the MIG Switch? What do you guys think about the uh, Switch successor rumors? Whatever your thoughts are, let's go ahead and get the conversation going in the comment section down below if you're watching this in video format, or if you're listening to it in audio format on any of the major 
uh, audio platforms. Make sure you uh, leave a rating, like it, share it around. And uh, yeah, if you want to get more involved, we got Patreon, we got channel memberships, early exclusive access to content, behind the scenes, and so much more. And uh, we got a lot more stuff that's going to be coming. I know this is a very different episode of Decked Up. It's mainly because uh, this is something I've been mulling over in my head, talking to friends about, especially when it comes to the legality of it and potential issues we could possibly see with it. But uh, all that being said, thank you guys for tuning in for uh, if you are or if you were. Uh, if you're not vibing with us, hey, man, thank you for coming through. And uh, all that being said, catch y'all on the next one. Stay safe, be blessed, have aloha. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out and a hui ho.